President Trump reportedly needs no encouragement to start praising the dangerous, baseless QAnon conspiracy theory. The most pressing matter for federal Republicans right now is the upcoming Senate runoffs in Georgia, which will determine control of the body. But in a meeting with advisors and top Senate Republicans about that matter, Trump totally derailed the conversation by bringing up QAnon, people familiar with the discussion tell the Washington Post. Trump is reportedly not thrilled with Georgia and that fact that it flipped for President-elect Joe Biden, and is publicly upset with Republican leaders in the state who haven't somehow overturned the election for him. So even though Republican advisers say Trump's help is key to convincing his die-hard supporters to vote for sense. Kelly Leffler and David Perdue in the January runoff election, the president ISNT thrilled about doing so, the Post reports. Advisers say he has been frustrated at how some GOP senators have criticized him, leading Trump to appear disinterested when discussing Senate campaign plans, the Post continues. That was clear in a recent meeting with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, R. Kai. Senator Todd C. Young, R. Ind, and other aides. As they discussed Georgia's Senate races, Trump brought up the QAnon supporting soon-to-be Congress member Marjorie Taylor Greene. Trump mispronounced the name of the group as Q and UHN, and then said supporters of the theory that purports Democrats are a cannibalistic, pedophilic cabal basically believe in good government, people familiar tell the Post. Everyone reportedly went silent until White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows mentioned he had never heard it described that way, the Post reports. Trump has been asked to denounce QAnon several times, but usually gives the theory his tacit approval instead. More stories from theweek.com 5 absurdly funny cartoons about Trump's desperate fraud claims what Trump is doing ISNT politics. It's something much worse. The Donald goes down to Georgia.